Hello, this is Chaos Baloo, and welcome to Let's Learn Blue Magic Time! In Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Last time, it was flashback time. But it's not flashback time anymore, it's time to... <gasps> KILL THIS BASTARD! Never again will you steal two pieces of equipment from me! That was actually kind of ridiculous. Um... Well, he's dead now, so it's alright. Everything's alright. Also, that was sort of a waste of her limit break, but I really wanted to get her second freaking limit break already. I mean, I've literally had games before where I had Aerith's second limit break before I got out of Midgar. So... It should be any time now. Oh, speaking up, there it is. Well, okay then. Uh, just a sec. Okay, I just wanted to adjust the audio slightly. I doubt you'll even hear any difference, but it was a little bit too loud in my headphones. Anyway, anyway, we're like way over here now, and oh yeah, oh yeah, this is where we want to be. There's a few interesting things here, actually, but first and foremost, I guess, I guess these are first. Okay, so these elephants are kind of annoying for one simple reason. They have an attack that inflicts sadness on us, which I have since looked this up since the last time I talked about it. Um, it does, in fact, increase your defense, but it also makes you deal less damage and makes your limit break go up more slowly. And I just don't like that, like at all. Although I might be doing something with it later on. Uh, but no, there's actually something specific I want around here. And it has nothing to do with those funny tracks on the ground, either. They do tell me I'm in the right area, though. Um... I don't think these are what I want, either? No. No. Uh, Ma Mandragora are not what I'm after. No, I'm after, uh, I guess the third enemy type that is in this area. Or maybe the fourth? Because I seem to recall there being a bird of some sort in this place, and I don't think the enemy I'm looking for is a bird. Hmm. Anyway. Anyway, I'm sure we'll find out. Just need to look a little bit longer, I suppose. Oh, also... Uh, what are my levels looking like? Okay, yeah, those are good numbers for this. Those are good numbers. No, the trick, I think, is just going to be getting the right, um... Getting it to hit the right target. Oh yeah, there are burrs, I thought so. And these are not what I'm looking for. Okay, then. Hmm. These must be what left those cracks on the ground. Although it's kind of kind of interesting detail to put on the world map, though. Hmm. Okay, I need to heal Aerith. Oh, hey, she almost has a limit break again. Only this time, this time she'll use Seal Evil, which is kind of mediocre. Like, I think you can inflict stop, actually, which isn't that bad, and hits the whole enemy party, but... But... I'm pretty sure it does damage, but not much. Anyway, can I please fight the enemy I want? Pretty please? I've, I thought... I'm pretty sure literally every other enemy in this area, so it would be nice. Come on, pretty please? 
any time now. Okay, yes. Finally. The squirrels are what I'm after. They are the moos. And... Did, did that just heal red? What? <laughs> what is going on? Okay, well that didn't heal anyone. Wow, that, that hurt. Uh, let's, uh, let, let's heal him up. And then, we sort of need to wait around because... Well, frankly, I don't, I don't remember how to trigger the thing I want. That does hurt a lot. Okay, well, I mean, I'm gonna use Sled Fang. Hopefully they don't... Oh, hey, you know, I can totally steal from them. Or not. Who has my enemy skill? Red? Yeah, Red has it. Just... No, that's not it either. Come on! I'm afraid I'll kill you if I hit you. Whatever, let's hit it. That does deal a lot of damage. Okay, not dead. I just... Come on, please! Just use your enemy skill! You know, I have sense. I can actually check how much life you have. And I know how much damage Aerith deals, so... Okay, yeah, I can hit you a couple more times with Aerith. I mean... Uh, will that kill you? I mean, if I inflict stop on you, I still won't be able to get your enemy skill, so that's pretty iffy. Uh, healing win. Man, this is gonna be drawn out. Also, maybe I won't do the annoying beep 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 thing. Although it is tempting. Ah! Use your stupid enemy skill already! Okay. So, I think that gives me... I think I can hit it one more time with Aerith. And I'm hoping it's just the case that it only wants to use it at low life. Okay, now hitting it again at this point would be iffy. I mean, no, well, I might be able to get away with it. Uh, let's try it. Okay, yeah. It, it's not gonna do it, is it? Maybe only certain ones use it, but that doesn't make any sense. I mean, if you don't use it soon, I'm gonna just use Slut Bang, so... This is your last... For fuck's sake. Okay, you know what? You basically have until Aerith has her next limit break. Uh, so, one more hit. Pretty much. And I might speed this up a little bit, because this is taking longer than I was expecting. Like, frankly, it shouldn't take this long. Um, I think I've gotten very unlucky. Or possibly there's some mechanic here that I'm missing. Like, maybe... There's... maybe moves only use it on certain levels? Because I know there's some enemies that can come in at different levels depending on which encounter you run into. I don't know if moves are such a case or whether or not it would affect the, the attack I'm trying to get. However... Uh... Can you please... Level 12. Okay. I actually just wanted to see if the Quake thing he was doing was actually using uh, MP. 
it is not. So, you know, go figure. Oh, okay, that was your last chance. Slut bag! Okie dokie. I guess I'll have to try game for it later. Sigh. Whatever. I'm going into here now. It's a chocobo farm! I'm talking to this chocobo immediately! Work, 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 work. And they're all dancing. In inexplicably. But it's very important to see this dance. Like, actually, legitimately. Beyond just looking kind of funny and having good sound. We got the Chocobo Mog Materia. Oh, yes. Okay, so... Quake, not as important as Chocobo Mog. This is a summoning Materia, which has a few differences from magic. All summons, as far as I know, hit the entire enemy party. Some Materia also usually doesn't have as many... I mean, it's a different spec for the downsides. It still increases my MP and lowers my HP, but it doesn't lower my strength. Uh, some of the really powerful ones do, though, I think. But anyway. The difference between this and magic is that this only has the one spell on it, and it's better. And it's a better spell, but I can only use it once per battle right now. As I level up more, I'll be able to use it more times in a battle, but still, it'll be limited. Which, in this game, doesn't really matter that much, because most things you'll kill before you run out of charges. It's D&D Syndrome, if that makes sense to you. Uh, in this case, it's also my first wind element material, so you know, that's nice. But, uh, we need something else here as well. We aren't just here for the materia. Choco Bill. Uh, that, the pun in that name is terrific. Yep, that's the plan. Oh, why would I need a chocobo to cross ye old marsh? Okay. Only way to... It is the only way to avoid being attacked by the Midgar Zolom. Remember that. Midgar Zolom, you say? It's this huge serpent! It's over 30 feet... Well, I mean, calling a serpent tall is not really... It's... It's a huge-ass snake, okay? Yeah, it does. But come on, it can't be that bad, right? It, it can. Um, I've been debate. Actually, I've been debating whether or not I would fight it. Ah. Uh, actually, yes, I would. Ah, uh, that doesn't seem unreasonable. Yeah. Okay. Here's the thing. I think I probably will end up fighting it, but... Because here's the thing, it has a really powerful enemy skill. And normally I would want to come back later in the game to get it. Uh... Actually, I'll definitely be doing that. <laughs> but you can get it right now if you're really clever. Uh... And ideally have about five more levels than I do. Like, I would want my lowest level character to probably be around in the 16 to 18 range, and ideally more like 20, uh, which I, for, I'm not going to grind around for that. It's just not going to happen. So, I am pretty sure it will. I won't be able to get that enemy skill, 
But I still think I will fight it once. Because it's just, well, because I want to. Yes, I do. Give me one! What? All out? Okay. Uh. How do I catch one? I know where they, I know where they appear. And if you don't know where they appear, then I think you really need to pay better attention. Because we've been over this before. Indeed. What else? Okay, yeah, that's probably good advice. But no, like, seriously, I need, um... That. 2,000. Do I even have 2,000 gil? I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna need some greens. Uh... Let's see... For this point in the game, I don't really need any special greens. Gashel should work fine. Which is good, because I only have 500 gil. Ick. Man, I do not have enough money. Like, I really don't have enough money. <laughs> but... Okay, let's see. I guess I could go back to Midgar and get, uh, grind up a few atomic scissors off screen. Hmm. Food for thought. Uh, anyway. Chocobo lower! What am I gonna ditch for it? As if you need to even ask. Sense! So, this increased our luck, but mostly, the important thing is this allows us to actually have battles with chocobos. Without this materia, Equipped, you will never see a chocobo. As for finding one, well, again, take a guess. Uh, save there. Gee, I wonder what these things on the map are for. Seriously, though, it's a, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Now. Worth noting, actually. Okay, um... I just wanted to sort of show that off, but I actually don't really want to catch a chocobo yet. Uh, I'm gonna do that, and that. Although, I don't think this one will give me what I want. Yeah, it'll just do that. I mean, okay, basically here's the problem. I need that enemy skill from the from the moo, then, once I have it, I can use it to get an enemy skill from a chocobo! But it's actually pretty tricky <laughs> to do. Oh hey, we get to use Seal Evil though. Okay, that did not... Wait. It totally inflicted stop! And silence! I wonder if it inflicted anything else. I don't have scan anymore, so I can't actually check, but... You know, whatever. Let's see... Yeah, no. I said that I wanted to fight the Midgar Zul- Wait, what? Oh. I see. Uh, right. As I was saying, I said I wanted to fight the Midgar Zolom. So I'm gonna go fight the- Wait. I've- I appear to have taken a wrong turn. Okay, is it time for another exciting round of catch the enemy skill? No, no it's not. I'm just gonna kill these bastards. If they don't give me the, their freaking enemy skill, then so be it. I'll just come back for it later. It's, it's not actually important. I literally, literally the only time I'm gonna use it will be to get the freaking Chocobo enemy skill. Which I would love to talk about, but I'm not going to until I actually have it. Uh... Because that- oh. Whoops. That's no good. 
That is very no good. Cross Slash! And also, Cure! Seems prudent right now. But seriously, use the stupid- no, you're, you're not using it. Like, is there actually a trick to getting this that I don't know? That's starting to seem plausible. Oh, but I don't think that's the case. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, let's- let's unlost myself. There's the swamp. And there's the snake. You could- it was just sort of on the edge of- there it is. There it is. So. So. Okay, so while I'm getting my- oh. Oh, I guess I'm finding something else first. Slut bang! Well, that's something. You know, this looks like a good time to use Chocobo Mod. Chocobo Mod! Oh, something else I didn't mention. This, th this guy can also inflict stop. And has a super secret special hidden summon, which it has like around a 10% chance of appearing. But it's actually really cool. I hope we get to see it once. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I will tell you that it exists. Awesome. Actually, I think I think that's actually pretty bad. Uh, no! No, don't quit! But do save again, because I just got a limit break. Now, hello, snake! Now I just want to point out, it took a little bit for the snake to reach us. That's going to be important later. Also, it's going to probably kick my ass, but... I'm going to go ahead and explain the trick. First of all, I'm too low level to do this. Straight up. There is no way I can get its enemy skill without, without being wiped out completely. But, here's the thing. If you put all your characters in the back row, that will cut the damage they take in half. If you give, um, if you make them sadness, that will also decrease the damage they take. And the enemy skill is fire-based. So if you give them a fire uh, element on their armor with fire material, that will further decrease the damage they take from it. And you can just barely survive this enemy skill if you combine all the things together, just so. Having said that, you also need to be able to actually survive its regular attacks. To do that, which, well, <laughs> I'm not a high enough level to do that. Okay, now let's catch a chocobo. Can I... there we are. Right over here. For reals this time. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Man, I need to actually sort my freaking items. This is good thing I've been in away mode, otherwise it would have gone away while I was trying to fetch that thing. Okay, Gashel Greens, as I recall, do not take very long to be eaten. The way it works is the more expensive greens will last longer. Um, so, you know, hopefully I can kill these guys before it runs out. Oh, okay, we did it! Yay! Okay, so, wait. I really, for some reason I can't rotate my map when I'm in the overhead view, which is really annoying. 
So, this snake will still be attracted to us on the Chocobo, but we're faster than it. So, here are the Mithril Mines, and oh my, that's a large snake. And it's being impaled on a tree. That is... And that's a snake that just completely kicked her ass, too. Like, it was no contest. That's pretty intimidating. Hmm. I should have changed my party around, though. Well, maybe not. I still want to use this party, but... Barrett has the best line in this area. I, like... I'm already here with Aerith and Red, so... So, you know... Well, we've seen it this way now. But seriously, try it out with some other characters. Like, Barrett really does have the best line. Lightning, every time I look at it, that's kind of weird. So, here's the thing with this screen, though. As far as I know, you can only see this on the ch when you're riding a chocobo. And every time you run into here... Oh no, it's just the first time, I guess. Okay. So... Guess what? We can outrun this on the Chocobo, but it can still find us. However, I think you can run away from this battle. We're gonna try it anyway, see if it works. Maybe not. Hmm. Maybe you can't run away after- OH NO! YOU CAN TOTALLY RUN AWAY! Oh, but it put me like way back here. That's lame. And Red is- and you- and it killed Red actually as well. No, finish me off, okay? Uh, and on that note, I'm gonna stop up here. Join me next time when we- when we go into the Mithril Mine! Until then, this has been Game Over. Bye!